Yo, what is popular YouTube? It is your boy Elixir, and today we're playing some X Define as you can see in the background. And I want to talk about it. I really think they missed a the mark on this game. I really think they could have done more to hold that candle to Activision and take away more of the players. And we'll we'll get into it. But before we do, I want to say, yo, just leave a like if you enjoyed this type of video. This is a live com. Leave a dislike if you don't. F subscribe for Maple. I'm gonna throw up a picture for. Her. Check me out on Twitch where I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday around 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wherein I play a variety of games. Actually coming up soon uh, will be Stalker 2. And, you know, let me know what you guys think about this game. Since Black Ops 6 has been out. But I do have a few points here that I want to go over. First one being lack of skill expression if mo in movement. So I don't know if you guys remember. I'll try and find a clip of the movement issue that was happening when this game did release okay you could just jump around like a bunny rabbit and have absolutely no issue right in a way it was an exploit and it led to a lot of frustration especially for keyboard and mouse players i guess the controller player because aim assist that's a whole different debate we can talk about that at a different time that's not the debate today okay and i'm talking about like how people could just do this right you see how like my camera's doing that i'm not moving my my mouse Okay, they implemented that because you could just jump like that a lot. You also didn't have a jump nerf like this, as you can see, I'm jumping less now, right? And like I get a speed penalty for a second there. That never used to happen before. Um, that never used to happen before. All right. And I think they took it too far. Right? It's like when it's like when you know something needs to be balanced, you nerf it a little too hard. You know what I mean? It's like a little too they went a little too far with the the movement nerf, and I think it negatively impacted the game's longevity. I really do think that's what happened. Okay. I think that is one of the biggest reasons why my, uh, people, myself included, stop playing the game. There's a lack of skill that reduced the skill expression, uh, which in turn makes the game easier and in turn reduces the skill required skill gap, which is never good because if you worked hard on something, you don't want to just have it taken away because people, the new players are saying that it's too hard to do, right? I get it. Jumping around a shit ton it is definitely very annoying to fight against. I remember fighting against it myself. And I was like, yo, how is this guy doing this and aiming like perfectly? Well, because they are they were better at the game than I am. That's that's just the honest truth. And yeah, it's hard for people to admit that. It's really hard for people to admit that. There are plenty of players out there that are significantly better than me and will be always significantly better than me. That's just how it is. You know what I mean? No ifs, ands, or buts about that. Let's go through here. I also think not having kill streaks is kind of like a bummer. If they had kill streaks in this game, I feel like it would have been even better. That was just off the top of my head. But yeah, lack of skill expression and movement really turn turns the game away from people. I think being nerfed for having good movement is always an L of a L of a uh, thing. What's it called? L of a uh, dev thought. Okay, not rewarding people for being talented or um. What's the word? Pushing at your mechanics to its maximum is 100% an L, in my opinion. It's never, never cool. Never cool. Nerfing things like how Apex does it, if they have done it, I don't know. But being able to do things with a config file on Steam as a controller player, stopping that is definitely a W. Because that's... Not fair. You sh if you, there's things that you need a, 
a third party to help you do that is technically cheating. If it if you cannot do it with your own fingers and hands and arms, then I think it is not it is not fair. Anyways, that's a whole different rant. I'm I'm just yapping at this point. Anyways, second point. Lack of content. Let's be real, bro. This game barely had any content when it came out. I'm not saying, you know, it's a new game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. But I think it was rushed. I think they uh, seized the moment where people were highly frustrated with Call of Duty and its SBMM, and they just launched the game. And I think it was rushed for multiple reasons, because that code felt terrible. You would die around a corner a lot. Kind of feels like Black Ops 6 right now, right? That's how it felt at the beginning. That's how it felt. Um, there was a lack of content. It was very repetitive. It got old pretty fast. And they kind of only marketed the game on having no SBMN, which I said it. I said it when the game launched. I was like, marketing your whole thing around having no skill-based matchmaking is not a good marketing strategy. I do have a business degree, never used it before, but I did do some marketing work uh, shortly after I got out of the military. And I gotta say, it's mar it, betting everything on not having any SBMM is not a good idea. You need, to, you need to have like some original ideas, bro, okay? Warzone got so much hype because it was an original idea from Call of Duty, okay? Black Ops 6 had so much hype around it because of one omni movement two because black ops sick black ops was an original idea back in the day it still is technically an original idea just only original to call of duty okay having no sbmm is not enough of an original idea to market off of. you need more introducing implementing i'm sorry not introducing implementing their uh, Ubisoft IPs, like Sam Fisher, uh, the Echelon stuff, and all that. Very cool idea. Very nice. But that did not feel like it was the forefront of this game. You get what I'm saying? It did not feel like that is what they wanted this game's identity to be based on. They wanted this game's identity to be based on not having skill-based matchmaking. Which was not a good idea in the slightest. That's just... An L take, L decision from the marketing team and everything else. Not good. And now, I will give them benefit of the doubt here with that. Maybe they had to market the game off of no skill based matchmaking because the game wasn't fully ready. That's a thought that I just had. It's just an idea. It's quite possible. But it doesn't mean that it is 100% factual. And we will probably never know if it is a a fact of the matter. So, yeah. Lack of content was the other thing. My, one of my other points here is, oh, well, lack of content and marketing no S uh, only on no SBMM were two other points. Another one, not releasing on Steam. Steam player base is huge, okay? The only reason I even have Ubisoft and Connect installed is because it's easier to run Siege off of that than it is like with multiple accounts because I have multiple accounts that I use to do content for. It's much easier to just log into those through Ubisoft Connect instead of logging into Ubisoft Connect and Steam. Okay. But you bet your ass I am not making an alt account for X Defiant, okay? You could have released the game on Steam. They could have. But I think because it's Ubisoft, and I think because they're the publisher, and they get the final say on most of the stuff, they went ahead and said no, even though they release most of their stuff on Steam now. So, yeah. I think not releasing on Steam is a big L, and they missed out on a lot of potential opportunity. Yes, Steam will take 30% of all profit of everything bought on the Steam store, but if you have more of a player base because of Steam, then what's the issue? Let's be real. What's the issue? Also, 
Another reason I think the game isn't doing as well as it could be, or what what am I looking for? Didn't do as well as it should. It's because of Ubisoft. And we'll get into that point once the next game is live. All right, all right, all right. We are back. So, again, that point I was going over. Behind-the-scenes stuff with Ubisoft. I don't know the deal that I forget the guy's name that is leading X Defiant. Like, that is, like, the head of it, basically. Uh, he's the same guy that made Call of Duty Ghost, which, side note, absolutely love Call of Duty Ghost, one of my favorite all-time Call of Duties because of the campaign. And I loved the multiplayer. Anyways. Excuse me. I had to burp. Just had some dinner, so... Ubisoft is in a hot spot right now, all right? Don't know if you've looked at their stock stuff, but it is down, like, badly, man. And they just keep taking L after L after L after L, yada, yada. You get what I'm saying? Ubisoft has been on a losing streak. Investors are not happy. They're implementing, I think, uh, too much, quote-unquote, woke stuff into the games. They're focusing too much on the wrong things and all that. All right. And I don't know how much budget they gave to this game. Was it? I don't, maybe it wasn't enough. Maybe this game really didn't have enough budget for it. Or have enough budget for Mark. I think his name is Mark, if I remember right. I'm talking about the guy that, you know, uh, led call of duty ghost and is now the project manager or lead of this game okay maybe it, he didn't have enough uh cash to really make the game how he wanted or how he intended all right and then coupled with maybe even an early release earlier than expected release i think the game released in a bad state but a lot of have put a bad taste in a lot of players mouths and that went ahead and um, kind of killed the game for a lot of people already. They don't want to play the game if they feel like it's not polished or if they feel like it was rushed um, or if they feel like, what's the word? They feel like it's not a quality product, okay? Do I think this game is a quality product? I think for the most part it is. It's not as polished as Call of Duty, doesn't feel as refined, as um, smooth, or anything like that. But I do think it's a quality product for the most part. It has its flaws, absolutely. The game is without flaws, bro. There's literally not a single game on planet Earth without flaws. Every game has glitches, bugs, and issues that are very annoying. Alright? And I think those are the main reasons. As for things that X Defiant does well, maps, all right, dedicated dev team, it seems like, because I'll be honest, it does not seem like there's a lot of players on this game, but they seem dedicated to the game. That's that's good, all right? They're still doing seasonal content, all right? They're keeping it up with the content, which is good. Always a good sign to keep up with the content. And what's going on? Look like that. Oh man, dude, the shotguns are strong in this. Anyways. And, um... And balance, for the most part. Seems like balance is really well done in this game, okay? I'll, uh, only thing that I could complain about balance is some of the factions, man. I, I think it's a, a big point of frustration for a lot of people. Uh, like, not being able to see someone because they're invisible. Or dying to incendiary bullets, which... If you don't like that class, and you don't like that class, and, or I'm sorry, faction, and that's the only way to get them. Like, yeah, I think that's really stupid. And, yeah, but for the most part, I do think the game is good. I think it has good gunplay. I think it has good maps. I think it has, it has a good team behind it, or a good leader at least behind it. And it definitely has potential, all right? But they 100% missed the mark. Like, you're going up against Activision, bro. 
you cannot afford to skimp out on something to not um jesus bro these shotguns are crazy to not uh give it your all okay so i don't know if they were like i said i don't know if they were constrained by budget or what but i really think that they missed the mark with this game and i do hope that they're able to turn it around in some fashion like that i feel like i just died around the corner there maybe i didn't wish there was a kill cam so i could tell but we'll never really know for sure i'm pretty sure kill cams are coming i think that is something they did say is coming um which is good to see need more things like that we need more quality of life things like that right we need the optimization of the game is great much better than call of duty you had in multiplayer granted i think call of duty uses 4k textures and things like that so that's obviously going to take more processing power to render and all that so but still the point still remains optimization is there having an optimized game is always a bonus big time bonus and we are getting rocked bro i won't lie but it be what it be but yeah i think there's more that they could have done overall again my points just to reiterate them lack of content lack of skill expression and movement by nerfing the movement too damn much um and wow dude that shield is a lot stronger than i remember and uh some stuff behind the scenes with ubisoft and not releasing on steam not to to capture a wider audience base because they definitely could have they definitely could have released on steam there's literally zero reason for them besides greed um and that i think is on part of ubisoft because you know ubisoft is a pretty greedy company but yeah anyways you guys enjoyed the video let me know that by leaving a like if you didn't leave a dislike comment down below what you think of this type of video if you like these types of videos i'm probably going to continue to do them because this is what i enjoy and at the end of the day i gotta do what i enjoy subscribe for maple if you like this stuff and uh check me out on twitch and i hope you guys enjoyed peace